It is always tough balancing whether to cover Trump and give him a platform or whether to simply ignore him. It would be nice to have the luxury of ignoring him, but as we saw at CPAC just over the weekend, he still leads a party within a party, one that includes anywhere from 25-35% of the American electorate, and they nod at every word he utters. Trump supports Putin in the war against Ukraine, at least that's a reasonable inference given everything we know. Indeed, a week ago, Trump was expressly supporting Putin, that's smart, and Tucker Carlson talked about cheering for Putin, the MAGAs align with Russia without much reservation. But as the world's sympathies and support have dramatically and strongly swung in support of Ukraine, the MAGAs have sought different outlets to address the war preferring to avoid mentioning Putin's name and instead focusing on side issues, including laying the blame on President Biden. One thing they will not do is say a single negative word about Putin, in whom, all blame begins and ends. On Monday, Trump sent out several diversionary statements, the most important of which is his claim that if he was still president and the country still utilized his energy policy, there would be no war. If my energy policy had remained in place, where we were energy independent, and would have soon been bigger in production than Saudi Arabia and Russia combined, the world would have had no problems whatsoever. This war should never have started in the first place. If the election wasn't rigged, Russia would never have attacked Ukraine. Strange. Despite searching and searching, one can't find the portion of the statement that explains how he would have kept the war from happening. Trump doesn't say, Putin would have listened when I told him that the United States wouldn't stand for this, nor does he say, I would have placed the type of sanctions on Russia and united the world in a way that Putin wouldn't dare make a move such as, Trump can only praise Putin or remain neutral, hoping he can fool his followers into believing that this war is about oil and energy in some way and it just wouldn't happen if Trump was president. Magas like to point out that Putin didn't invade Ukraine while Trump was in office. True. Putin was too busy solidifying his beachhead in the United States. Trump reserves his tough talk for dangerous leaders like Justin Trudeau. Trump is so obviously owned by Putin that even some of his MAGAs are beginning to notice. Some won't care, some will. Thus far, Putin's move into Ukraine has weakened Russia on the world stage. We can only hope that Trump's atomic-like bond to Putin causes Trump and his supporters to suffer a similar fate. In conclusion, Trump says something about his energy policy that would have prevented a war. Russia invaded Ukraine because we rigged the election. And none of this would have happened if Trump was president. Typical. And they will believe him.